before I went to England in 1961, I had worked on a film called Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea with Peter Lorre, and I had played a character called Sparks, who was the radio operator. And one time they went to roll a take, and Peter Lorre had gone to the men's room, and the AD didn't notice. So we were doing the take without him. Walter Pigeon did his line, and uh, everybody you know, did their line. And uh, came time for his line, he wasn't there. So I flipped it in. <laughs> Oh, well, see the, the Van Allen belt that hangs up there in the troposphere at that altitude. And so Peter Lorre came back, and I said, Okay, Mr. Lorre, we won't need you for the rest of the day. He said, No, no, I have, a, I have a whole lot of important scenes to do today, a lot of big scenes. They said, No, 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 uh, Mr. Easton will do your voice. He said, You do my voice? And I was kind of embarrassed. They said, Do that for me. So I did it, and he said, that's very good. He said, a lot of people, when they go to do my voice, they put the finger on their nose. He said, I don't walk around with my finger on my nose. So when I met the Andersons and talked to them about Stingray, we discussed the voice for X20, and I did the Peter Lorre voice for them. They said, oh, that's it. I said, okay, that's good, yeah. I'll do it like that. 